Using Jira JQL to search for issues based on versions. In Jira, we have the concept of sprints and versions. Usually, we'll have two version fields. The effects version, that's the version of the app or product where we found the issue, and the fix version, the version of the app or product where we included the fix for the issue. Now, before you start, you may need to configure your issue layout to show these fields. Usually, you'll see them down here on the right-hand side where we've got the effects version and we have the fix version. If you don't see them, then you'll need to configure your project settings under the issues setting section and you'll see layouts and in the layout section for your issue types you can edit the issue layout and you can add from the right hand panel fields searching for effects version and fixed version and drag them into the displayed section of your issue layout configuration screen. Once that's done you should see those two fields in the position you set them for, possibly over in the right hand side for the effects version and the fixed version. You can configure the versions for your particular project under the releases section and in here you will see a list of the versions that you've created and note that versions can be categorized by their release status. That is unreleased, they've not been deployed to the customer, released where they have been deployed to the customer and then archived where you've decided that you're no longer interested in this particular version and you want to hide it from view. When it comes to the issues then, you can link them to these versions, both on the effects version and the fixed version. And notice that this is a one-to-many relationship. So the effects version for this issue, ATC6, is related to many versions. This issue we've raised affects version one and version two. Now the simplest way to get started with searching for issues based on versions is to click on the version identifier and it will take you to a display which is either in basic mode where you have that field for the version selected from the drop down or what we want to look at is the switch to JQL mode where we look at the JQL for searching based on versions. Now, not surprisingly, the JQL this has come up with automatically. It's based on the project and the affected version equals version 2. If you want to search on both affected version and the fixed version, then of course you can use the AND clause and add in the fixed version. So in this case, we've got two issues that were discovered to affect version two, and they were fixed in version two as well. If you want to find issues in multiple versions, then we can use the in clause and fixed version in, and then a list of the versions that you want to use in that clause, and version two. So in this case, searching for issues in that project and the fixed version can either be version one or version two. Right, that's the easy stuff out of the way. What we want to look at next is the functions that Jira gives us to make more advanced JQL searches based on versions. And we have the released versions function, unreleased versions, latest released versions, and earliest released version. So if we want to search for issues in this project, and find all of the issues fixed in a version we've released, then we can do fix version, fix version in released versions. And that will give us all of the issues where the issue was fixed in a version where the version has been set to a release status. This particular function takes a project key as a parameter, so you can shorten this with the project key in the brackets. If you want to find all of the unreleased issues, that is where the fixed version is in unreleased versions for this project, 
then we can use the unreleased versions function which essentially shows us all of the issues that have fixes where the issue is marked as fixed but is yet to have its version released and the converse of that we could try the effect affected versions in unreleased versions and this search shows us issues where the affected version related to the issue has not yet been released. If you want to narrow this down further, you can use the affected version equals latest release version. And note that we're changing this to equals because the latest released version function returns a single value, not a list of values. So when it's a single value returned, we use equals. When it's the list of values returned, we use the in statement. So we can think of this query as showing us all of the issues where the issue affects the latest version to go out of the door. It's important to note that the latest version or the latest released version is dictated by the ordering of the versions. So if we go back to our list of releases in the releases section, it's not the release date that's used to determine the latest, it's the order that these are placed in. So at the moment, version one is the latest release, when really we need to drag that up and make version two the latest release. So the equivalent for unreleased issues then is, is perhaps something along the lines of fixed version equals earliest unreleased version. So think of this, so think of this as you being interested in the issues in your next release. So the release that hasn't gone out the door yet, which issues are you aiming to fix in that release? And again, version order for the unreleased one is dictated by the order on this screen, not by the dates you've used. So just something else that we've already mentioned then is the difference between the equals and the in statement and which one you use is determined by what these functions return. And if we look at this, you'll see that the latest released version is singular, right? it returns one version, so we use the equal sign, whereas the released versions is plural and it returns a list, so we use the in, the in clause instead. So in summary, you've got four functions that you'll find useful, the released versions function, unreleased versions, latest release version, and the earliest unreleased version. And that should give you all you need to power search for issues based on versions using JQL.